With Greyzone Warfare's Winds of War update, they added DLSS 4. If you didn't know, DLSS has different presets that basically serve as different bases for how DLSS upscales. If you saw NVIDIA's marketing, they do have two different models, which are the CNN or Convolutional Neural Network model, and then the newer Transformer model that runs better on newer hardware. Grayson Warfare is still using presets E and F accordingly to how they're supposed to be, with E for quality, balance, and performance, and F for DLAA and ultra performance. This is, however, still using the older CNN model, meaning that you do not get the image benefits of the newer Transformer model. Before we get started though, I need to make sure you know that these changes will affect your performance depending on what NVIDIA GPU you have. If you're on a 20 or 30 series NVIDIA GPU, you will probably notice a slight reduction at least to your average FPS when enabling the Transformer model. However, don't feel bad if you want to try to give this a shot regardless of what RTX card you're on. I'm assuming that Madfinger Games didn't enable the new Transformer model solely for the sake of ensuring that older RTX cards can get the most performance possible in the game. I don't blame them for it, and there are other ways to enable it anyway, so it's completely alright. In this video, I'm going to show you two different options on how to enable it and how you can check to see if it is enabled in-game. If this helps you, make sure to hit the usual buttons down below, you know that whole thing. I will be streaming for some drops shortly after this video goes up. Make sure you go over to my Twitch channel and follow so you don't miss those drops because those are going to be huge. They're also going to be allowing two subs instead of four if you want to get all the drops in one go instead of having to wait for the drops. So. If you wouldn't mind supporting your boy, you know where to go. Also, if you need any help with enabling DLSS at all, or if you need some help with your performance in general, or if you're crashing, make sure you come into my Discord as the first link in the YouTube description always. We have a ton of people in there who can help you out, including myself, if you're having any sort of performance issues. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's quickly explain how exactly you can check to see what model you're using in game. So you're going to need to enable something within the registry. So I already have it open here, but just for the sake of it, if you want to launch your registry editor, you can either search for the registry editor, you can find it right here and open it, or you can simply press Windows key and R and type in reg edit and hit okay. Either way, you will be brought to your registry editor. It's not gonna look like this at first, but you're going to want to follow this path right here. I will have this linked below so you can copy and paste it. It's computer slash H key underscore local underscore machine slash software slash NVIDIA corporation slash global slash NGX core. Again, it'll be in the description in the pinned comment so you know how to get there without having to type all that out. Once you're in here, you may already see this show DLSS indicator value, but if you don't, you're going to want to make that value. You do that by right clicking, hit new, and then go down to D word 32 bit value and click on it. And it'll make a new value here. Name it the exact same here as the, the caps show DLSS indicator. Make sure it's named exactly like that. And then once you have this set up, you're gonna to want to open it just by double clicking or right clicking and hitting open. This will be set to zero by default, but you can set it to either hexadecimal of 400 or decimal to 1024 for the enabled DLSS indicator. You can disable it at any time by simply typing zero in here and hitting okay. Though note, you will need to restart the game in order for it to take effect. What I like to do is I like to save two versions of my registry, one, with it enabled and one without. So to do that, you can say, have it enabled, hit okay, go to file, hit export, and export this to say your desktop with um, DLSS on, or DLSS indicator on, let's name it like that, indicator on, and hit save right there. And that's gonna save to your desktop. So now if I wanna enable it, I can just click this. And then if I want to disable it, all I have to do is make another version of this, hit zero, Boom, file, export, DLSS indicator off. You can, obviously this is a very bad way to name it because you can't see which one's which at the start. So I'm gonna do that. But you know, you get the point, you can save these to your desktop and then easily enable it and disable it without having to go back into the registry and change these values yourself. I'll just put those right there for now. And then I'll just make sure that I enable it. So I'm gonna click on the on, I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna hit yes and it will be enabled. Now I can launch Grayzone Warfare and check to see if the indicator is on. 
Now that I'm in game, you can see that my render preset here in the bottom left is labeled as F, meaning I'm using the older CNN model right now. You can see the DLSS version, and you can also see what resolution you are upscaling from. So for example, if I wanted to say run at, I don't know, DLSS performance, let's go ahead and go back to that here. You can see that now it shows me that I'm upscaling from 720p to 1440p. It also switched the preset to E because it uses E by default for quality, balance, and performance upscaling, while for DLAA and ultra performance, it uses preset F. Anyways, we made sure that's working, and now I can close out of the game and enable the new DLSS Transformer model. I'll be showing you two ways of how to enable it, first through the NVIDIA app, and then secondly without the NVIDIA app using a third-party tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. You can use the NVIDIA Profile Inspector just in case if you, for example, don't have the NVIDIA app installed. I do not have the NVIDIA app installed by default, so that's what I tend to use, but of course you can use either way and it's just as effective either way. The first way we're gonna do it is through the NVIDIA app, so you're gonna go ahead and open that up. If you don't have a shortcut there, you can either search it for the NVIDIA app inside of the search box, or you can go to the bottom right of the taskbar, hit this little hidden item option here, right click on the NVIDIA logo and click NVIDIA app. When you're inside the NVIDIA app, go ahead and hit the graphics tab and you'll be brought to a list of titles. You're going to want to find Grey Zone Warfare within that. Conveniently for me, it's the one at the top of the list since I just played it. And you should see in the driver settings category, the DLSS override model presets option. You want to go ahead and open this. Then to override, we're just going to use instead of this, we're just going to click this and hit latest. This will use the latest technologies for both super resolution and frame generation. If you want to be more precise with what we're changing, you can hit use different settings for each DLSS technology, and then specifically go down to super resolution and change the preset to preset K. Presets A through F here are the older CNN model, while presets J and K are the newer transformer model. By default, the latest section, if you choose it here for same settings, will use preset K. This will change if, you know, Nvidia releases preset L or whatever the next preset's going to be, then they will change the latest to that new preset. But for now, preset K and latest are synonymous, so you can use either. As you can see here, preset K is the default preset that they use for the transformer-based upscaling. Preset J is a precursor to preset K that's also using the transform model that quote, might exhibit slightly less ghosting at the cost of extra flickering. And it also showcases what each one of these presets does for the CNN model as well. So you can see which one you'd prefer the most. If you say, for example, want something that's very suited for fast paced motion, or if you want something that's going to give you more image stability, which is preset E in my opinion by default. I'm glad Madfinger Games selected that one. Anyway, now that we're done with that, whenever you have your preferred preset selected, of course I'm using K for the newer transformer model, you hit apply and well, you're you're done. And that's that's all you need to do. And now when I launch Grey Zone Warfare again, now that I'm in the game, you can see that it has changed to render preset K instead of presets E slash F that it was using before. You can see that even when I go up here and change back to my original DLAA option, we're still using preset K, so we're all set. If you are like me and typically do not have the NVIDIA app installed, there is a way for you to force it without using the NVIDIA app. To do it, you're going to need NVIDIA Profile Inspector, which I will have the GitHub link for down below. To download it, you're just gonna wanna go down here and click on this NVIDIA Profile Inspector zip. Once you have unzipped that zip file and have gotten to the EXE here, you're gonna wanna launch this. When you're in here, you're going to want to go up to the Profiles tab and switch this from the Global Profile to the one for Grey Zone Warfare. You can find this really easily by just typing in Grey Zone Warfare, and there it is right there. Now that I'm in Grey Zone Warfare, I'm going to scroll down till I go to Section 5, which is the Common section. And here you can see that it is set up from when I set the NVIDIA app, which I did not mean to do. Anyway, that shows you what you need to adjust. So. If you want to turn on the forced DLSS preset, all you need to do is enable the DLL override right here, set this to on, and then for the forced preset letter, you just wanna set this to your preferred letter, like I explained in the NVIDIA app section. Again, remember that presets A through F are all for the older CNN model, though they each have their upside and downside. Or if you're trying to use the transform model, you're going to wanna use presets J 
or K. Or you can hit always use latest, which will use K. And then if there's a, another preset update down the line, it will swap to use that newer preset. If it's say preset L, for example, I prefer preset K. So I'm gonna go to preset K and then you just hit apply right up here and you're all done. To make sure it worked, I'm going to just make sure it applies one more time. I'm gonna close the app and then I'm gonna launch gray zone one more time. And now that I'm in game, you can see we're on render preset K. So we're all set, everything's working correctly. This will also stay regardless of how you have it set. So, you know, if I go to graphics, change it to a different preset, it will stay at render preset K, no matter how I set it up. On screen now, you're gonna see some gameplay, uh, just pre-recorded walking footage between preset F and preset K using DLAA. And just a couple things I want you to notice are the stability of the grass uh, and how blurry it is with the older model in comparison to the newer model along with how the barbed wire looks on top of the fences around the buildings it's quite easy to see that transformer does a much better job with those fences in comparison to the older model so if you can and you can spare the little bit of performance depending on what gpu model you're on i would highly highly recommend at least trying out transformer model and seeing how it looks it is definitely a worthwhile upgrade to gray zones sharpness and fidelity that i would recommend to anybody who has the performance to do it i really hope in the future that mad finger games adds a preset choice within the options so more people can be aware that they can choose in between them even if it's just labeled as cnn and transformer and the game picks for you i think giving that option more of a spotlight in the settings would be great for people to get the clarity they need. Expect a full video breaking down all the different settings you can change for the best clarity in Grey Zone Warfare. I'm working on that and it should be up in a little bit. Uh, I'm just waiting for them to maybe make some changes to Game and Contrast in the near future. We'll see. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. But anyway, thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. I appreciate all of you watching until then. If you need any help, make sure you join my Discord or ask me when I'm live over on Twitch and on YouTube as well. My times for my typical live streams will be up on the stream, but of course with the drops, times may vary. Thank you as always for watching. I appreciate the support a ton. And for now, this will be Clem. Clocking out. Later.